show for today. The topic is Islam, politics, and terrorism. And Dr. Madhu has already laid out a strong foundation for the existence of uh, some of the conflicts between uh, various religions uh, in uh, various groups in this uh, particular religion. And of course, uh, Dr. Madhu, let's pick up where we left off uh, during the uh, first sec yes, segment. Yes, like, like, like I was articulating, you know, I'd uh, articulate some of the differences, mm -hmm. you know, between the Sunnis and the Shias. Mm -hmm. But then what did they agree on? Mm -hmm. Yep, all of them agree that, you know, Muhammad is a prophet. Mm -hmm. All of them uh, agree in the Quran, mm -hmm. you know, and all of them agree in the five pillars of Islam, mm -hmm. which is one, the Shahada, which is, you know, there's no, you know, God but Allah, Allah. and Muhammad mm -hmm. is a prophet. Mm -hmm. They agree in the Salah, you know, praying five times a day. Mm -hmm. they, agree, they agree on Ramadan, mm -hmm. you know, the month of fasting. They agree on the Hajj, mm -hmm. you know, the pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. And they agree on the Zakat, mm -hmm. which is giving alms to the poor. Mm -hmm. They agree on these tennis. Mm -hmm. But apart from it, they don't agree on anything else, mm -hmm. you know. And that's the root of some of the political problems mm -hmm. you have in Iraq, mm -hmm. you have in Lebanon, mm -hmm. you know, and other countries mm -hmm. where there's, you know, fairly large populations of Shias mm -hmm. and Sunnis. Mm -hmm. These are the problems. Now, where do, you know, these Muslims, you know, mm -hmm. exist mm -hmm. and in numbers mm -hmm. in which countries? Because mm -hmm. at times when we talk of Muslims, oh, our head goes to, oh, Middle East only, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the Arab countries, okay. Egypt. Jordan this, mm. but we forget that 90 or 80 percent of the Muslims don't even live mm -hmm. <laughs> in the Arab world. Yeah, they are about, yeah, in, in the whole country to the world today, you have about 180 countries. Mm. Out of these 180 countries, about 48 mm -hmm. countries are Muslim dominated, mm -hmm. including Indonesia, Pakistan, mm -hmm. you know, Iran, mm -hmm. Iraq, uh, Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. uh, Mal Malaysia, mm -hmm. Niger. Nigeria, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Azerbaijan, mm -hmm. Uzbekistan, mm -hmm. Tajikistan, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. you know, Comoros, Brunei, mm -hmm. all these are Muslim dominated countries. Mm -hmm. And out of these 48, mm -hmm. about 44 are Sunni dominated. Mm -hmm. And the f only four mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. are Shia dominated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, amongst these, Iran, is Shia dominated mm -hmm. Bahrain? Mm -hmm. Is Shia dominated Azerbaijan? Mm -hmm. Is Shia dominated? You know, then Lebanon mm -hmm. is almost half and half. About mm -hmm. thirty-eight mm -hmm. percent of the Muslims, you know, uh, are shared in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. That's how you have this conflict in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. You know, then Iraq mm -hmm. is about sixty percent Shia. Mm -hmm. Then the rest, forty-four countries, are Sunni dominated. Mm -hmm. You know, from uh, Pakistan all the way to to Afghanistan, they're mm -hmm. all majority Sunni countries. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk of the numbers, 61% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. of Muslims live in Asia, mm -hmm. not, not, mm -hmm. not, not in the Middle East. 30% mm -hmm. live in the Arab world, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, 20% really mm -hmm. live in the Arab world. 30% mm -hmm. of Muslims live in Indonesia, I mean, in Pakistan, India mm -hmm. and Kashmir, 30 percent. 15 percent live in Indonesia. 15 percent live in sub-Saharan Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, and then the rest smarter and live in other countries. Mm -hmm. the, the rest 15 percent. Now, most people don't know that the largest Muslim country in the world is Indonesia. Mm -hmm. It's about 200, 202 Muslims. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay, larger than mm -hmm. all the Muslims living in the Arab world mm -hmm. with the exclusion of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of number, Indonesia is the number one Muslim dominated country mm -hmm. in the world, mm -hmm. about 200 of them. Mm -hmm. Second is Pakistan, mm -hmm. about 174. Mm -hmm. Now, and the third, surprisingly, most people don't know, is India, mm -hmm. with 160 million mm -hmm. Muslims living in India. In India, yeah. Mm -hmm. More than those mm -hmm. in the Arab world mm -hmm. except Egypt. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. You see, 160 million in India. Then in Bangladesh, you have about 145 million mm -hmm. in Bangladesh. In Nigeria, you have about 60 to 70 million Muslims mm -hmm. in Nigeria. In Nigeria. That's mm -hmm. correct. See, most people don't, don't, don't know. know that. Don't, yeah, that's most right. people don't know mm -hmm. this. Yeah. So, so you put all these numbers together, you see that majority of Muslims are not living in the Middle, Middle East. East. Mm -hmm. They are mm -hmm. not Arabs. Mm -hmm. You see. So, but whenever we hear about Muslims, mm -hmm 
or Muslim terrorists, our head goes to the Arab, Arab mm -hmm, world, mm -hmm. forgetting that most Muslims do not live there. Mm -hmm. China has about 20 million Muslims. Mm -hmm. yeah, a group called the Uyghurs in China. Some of them were arrested and detained at Guantanamo Bay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are Muslims. Mm -hmm. The Uyghurs, predominantly about 20 million Chinese are Muslims. Mm -hmm. People don't know that. Mm -hmm. About 60 million Russians mm -hmm. are Muslims. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 the Russian province of Chechnya, where they were fighting before, mm -hmm. yes, they are predominantly Muslim. Most people don't, don't, know, don't know that. Yeah, so a whole lot of Muslims do not live in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. In fact, in the Middle East, the largest Muslim-dominated countries are Iran and Turkey. Mm -hmm. In Africa, is Egypt and Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see that the, the Islamic faith mm -hmm. predominantly is not really in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. But because of the political aspect of Islam, Good. Okay. you know, mm -hmm. the Middle East becomes a focal point mm -hmm. of, of Islamic, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. terrorism and Islamic, you know, uh, 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 act activism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Palestinian problem, mm -hmm. the Iraqi war, the Iranian problem, mm -hmm. all these accentuate, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, our thinking mm -hmm. that all... Muslims, Muslims uh, live in uh, exactly. uh, mm -hmm, the Middle yep. East. Exactly, live mm -hmm. in the Middle East, mm -hmm. not knowing that that's not so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most of them are mm -hmm. not in the Middle East. And that is why a lot of the Islamic countries get offended mm -hmm. when we lump them together mm -hmm. as if they are all terrorists. Mm -hmm. but, but, but the political dimension of terrorism today mm -hmm. is what really you know, accentuating the fact mm -hmm. that people are thinking of the Arabs mm -hmm. and Islam as the main you know, terrorist mm -hmm. group. For example, Bin Laden's group, Al-Qaeda, is mm -hmm. predominantly a Sunni, mm -hmm. you know, dominated group. Mm -hmm. The Shiites, like the Shiites in Iran and mm -hmm. all the rest in Lebanon, mm -hmm. are opposed to Bin Laden mm -hmm. because of, you know, the Shiites. So we put them here, we put them all here, exactly, together. Exactly, but, uh -huh. but we bunch them together. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that, you know. And that's what happened when, when we were accusing uh, Saddam Hussein mm -hmm. of, of being, uh, as, you know, friends with, with Al-Qaeda and all mm -hmm. this. But people don't understand that mm -hmm. Al-Qaeda is against Saddam Hussein mm -hmm. because Saddam Hussein is a secular leader. Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe in any religion dominating anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, under his government, Iraq was a secular government. Mm -hmm. And people need to understand that, mm -hmm. you see. So that's very important here. Mm -hmm. That all Muslims are not support, supporters of Bin Laden, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because of particularly the Shiites. Mm -hmm. And of course, Dr. Madhu, we're coming to the end of this second uh, segment, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm almost reluctant to stop it, even to, because I know that we're coming up to the third segment. But let's stop it there, and then we'll come back uh, for the uh, final segment. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. <laughs> 